Good morning. It is 6.43 a.m. on Friday, January 20th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So just as a workout update, I did do the second run from the Couch to 5K app yesterday. Um, it was hard, but I did it. Uh, thankfully not raining this time. Uh, I also did day two of the yoga thing. Um, day three will be today of that, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm questioning whether I have time to do it before work. I've been kind of slow moving this morning. Might uh, call an audible and do it after work instead. But uh, the real news for today, of course, is that January 20th is Inauguration Day. It's the day that uh, President-elect Donald Trump will take office. I don't really talk about politics all that often. Um, not so much just to avoid being controversial as much as I feel like it's just my own, just for my own mental well-being that I try to avoid getting involved in those conversations just because the times that I have done that in the past, I, I don't think I've ever thought back on a political discussion I've had and felt very good about it. You know, thinking, I'm glad I had that argument. I don't know. That's a personal thing um, that I'll continue to think about. But on a day like this where, you know, it's real history, it's worth talking about, I think. I am worried about what he's going to do. Uh, I respect that the election process had him as the outcome, so I'm, and, I, and I'm not going to get into all of the ins and outs of, oh, was the election fair or whatever. It, it happened. He's going to be president. That's a fact. But I don't have any confidence in him. I don't think he knows what he's doing. And I think to the extent that he does know what he's doing, the things that he wants to do are things that I disagree with. And so I am definitely concerned. And I hope that not too much damage gets done before we can um, replace him with someone competent. Now, <clears throat> naturally, if I am proven wrong, which I would be very surprised, if there are not lots of incredibly damaging policy decisions made, if the country uh, does well under his leadership, of course I will be happy about the country doing well, um, but even if there is some marginal improvement under the weight of many other losses. I'm not sure I'll call that a win. But we'll see. You know, like this is this is part of the US government process is that sometimes you have people elected that you you didn't want that person. And we have process in place for things to happen and I just hope that the rule of law and the respect for the government as a system does not get damaged beyond repair in the next four years. And uh, I don't think that the man in the office is immune from criticism. And I don't think that expecting people to follow the law is unfair or disrespectful. So, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm not participating in any of the formal uh, protests, but uh, certainly the people doing the various women's marches, um, I'm with them in spirit. And, uh, you know, I just 
hope that we'll be okay. Um, I have some faith that our system of government is strong enough to withstand someone uh, like him and that anything uh, extreme that might be done to try to diminish the ability of those checks and balances to function, I hope that there will be vocal resistance to that. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. So stay strong, everybody. And, you know, we'll, we'll make this work. All right. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.